Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to turn a SIM card into a micro SIM card. If you're not already there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that in the address bar, and let's search for a how to turn a SIM card into a micro SIM procedure. Okay, before you begin, uh, just a quick warning, be careful, um, and do things very slowly because if you do this wrong, you could potentially mess up your SIM card. Another thing I'd recommend is probably to back up your SIM card contacts to whatever phone you were using before. Um, this way, in case you do mess up the SIM card, you can just get another one and then transfer your contacts back to the SIM and you're good to go. Uh, the other thing is, why would you do this? Well, because when the iPhone 4 comes out, uh, it's only going to use micro SIMs and someone will unlock it, I'm sure. This way, though, once it's unlocked, you can actually fit your SIM card inside. Uh, Apple kind of did this micro SIM thing because they wanted to try to deter people from putting their SIM cards in the phone, but as you can see, that didn't really work. Uh, the other thing is you can also put your micro SIM into your iPad 3G. If it has a micro SIM slot, you can uh, cut your SIM card this way and put it in as well. Um, keep in mind though that 3G frequencies differ depending on what carrier you're using, so check with your carrier to see what 3G frequency they use, because um, otherwise you might only get edge when you do put your SIM card in the iPad or the iPhone. Okay? Okay, so here we have our micro SIM and our SIM card. Um, and what we're going to do is with them both facing the, with the cut corner facing down to the bottom right, we're going to line up the first two lines here with the two lines on here. And you want to make sure that this micro SIM is overlapping the very edge of the SIM card because we're going to use it as a guide when we cut with our scissor. Okay, so once you've made sure that that's all lined up and it's level with the edge, you can put your scissor up against the micro sim and make a cut. Just like that. Okay, now we made the first cut. We're going to slide the sim card over, make sure it's still lined up with those lines, and continue the cut. Okay? And keep in mind, you can always take more off, um, so, you know, be generous, or not, not so generous with your cuts, and then you can always take more off later. So now we got one side done, we're going to do the next side. Okay, now that we've cut that side, we're going to turn the SIM card, awesome. Okay, now that we're done cutting one side, we're going to turn the SIM card 180. And again, line up the two lines that we've been using. Make the micro SIM hang off over the edge of the normal SIM so that we have a guide. Put the scissor up against it. And make a quick first cut. Okay, now we're going to slide the SIM card over. Micro SIM. Make sure it's lined up with the bottom. And we're going to finish the cut all the way across. Okay. When you're done, your SIM card should look super skinny. Okay, now that we've cut those two sides, we're going to line up the micro SIM on top of the regular SIM card with the little cut at the top left this time. And we're going to line up our two little metal lines with these bottom two now. And once that's lined up, we're going to slide it to the very edge like that because we want these metal contacts to be in the same place as the other ones and we're going to just cut along the bottom. Okay, so this way when you slide this back up, it should be in the exact same spot. Okay, now we're going to line up the bottom the bottom of the old SIM card and we're going to cut along the top. Don't try to cut out the little corner yet, just do a straight cut here. Okay, Okay, now we're going to line up the other two sides here and do our final cut of the little corner piece. Okay, and then you're going to want to make sure that these are the exact same size. Uh, if they're not, like mine's not quite. You just want to trim off the little excess around the edges until you get them both the exact same size. And that's it. You're all done.